Have you ever wanted to play a Super Mario 64 ROM hack? Watch this tutorial to find out how. The links to every download in this video are in the description. And this tutorial only works on Windows computers. Firstly, download WinRAR. This allows us to extract zip files later on. Then, download Project 64 v1.6 and extract it to a folder by right-clicking and pressing Extract to Project 64 SM64 RH Pre-Built. Make sure to only download the link that I sent in the description since it comes with extra plugins and resources for playing. Find the emulator in the folder and open it. We're going to need a controller slash keyboard to play hacks, so let's configure the controls now. Open Project 64, go to Options, Setting, Plugins, and then change your controller plugin to NRANGE Input Plugin V2. Then get your controller out and plug it in. You can use USB or Bluetooth controllers. Personally, I'm using a USB Switch Pro controller. Then click Configure Controller Plugin. If the controller is a USB controller, check the plug button and add in your device in the gamepad section. By clicking Devices and then going into the gamepad section, then go to Controls and make the range 100% and uncheck Real N64 range. Then click the box that says the name of the button you want to map your controller to. And and then click the button on the controller. If you want to play on keyboard, simple. Just map the buttons to certain keys on your keyboard. To get SM64 hacks, firstly, find an unmodified vanilla Mario 64 ROM. You have to find this ROM because us sending it to you is illegal. This ROM has to be a Z64 ROM for patching the ROM to work later on. Go to sm64romhacks.com, link is in the description. Then, download a hack. To see a list of hacks by tier and difficulty, go to the Categorical Separations of SM64 ROM Hack Sheet, which is in the description. You can search for hacks or you can just use the random hack button to play a hack. When you found your hack, click on the hack name and find the version of the hack you want and click download. Once your hack is downloaded, extract it and then go to the online patcher of the SM64 ROM Hacks website. We need to patch these hacks for legal reasons and since Project 64 doesn't run BPS files. In the ROM column, click choose file and then choose your vanilla SM64 Z64 ROM. In the patch file, choose the BPS file you downloaded and once you've done all that, that click patch. I would recommend making a folder for your hacks so they don't get lost. Before we can play a ROM, we need to configure some settings. Go to Options, Settings, and then uncheck Hide Advanced Settings. And it would be recommended to turn off Pause Emulation when Window is not active. Then go to Options, Settings, and then Advanced, and then change your CPU core style to Recomplier, Memory Size to 8 megabytes, and Counter Factor to 1. You need to do this in Advanced Settings instead of the ROM settings for a certain ROM, because if you don't, you have to configure these settings for every ROM you play, which would get really annoying. Now that you have all this configured, you can play a hack. Press Ctrl and O and then find your hack and then open it. There are also lots of plugins for video and audio that are built into the emulator. It's your choice what you want to use and you should experiment to see which video or audio plugin you like most, but personally I just stick with the defaults. Project 64 also has hotkeys you can use. If you're on laptop, you need to press FN at the same time as the hotkey. F1 resets your game, F2 pauses your CPU, F3 makes a screenshot, F4 makes your game go faster, F5 creates a save state, and F7 loads a save state. You can also have 10 save slots, so do you want to practice a hard part of a star, or do you need multiple save slots for something? Definitely use them if that's the case. To make a save state with a different save slot, press a number from 1 to 10 and then press F5. Remember, the default PJ save state can be accessed by clicking this key here. Now you know how to play a Mario 64 ROM hack, so now I will be telling you about three extra tools that will make your experience much better. So you don't have to always lift your hand when creating or loading a save state, or if you want to make your life easier when spamming inputs, download Joy to Key. This application allows you to map keyboard inputs to controller buttons. 
Once you have Joy to Key downloaded, go to File, New, and then enter a name for your profile. Go to Settings, Configure Joysticks, and then select your controller device. Then, find a button you want to use by holding the button. The button will then become highlighted, so click the highlighted button. Then, you will be taken to this screen here. Press the key on your keyboard you want to map your controller button to, and then click OK. Now, you can save and load save states without even lifting your hands. Another saint in Mario 64 hack is star display this allows you to track how many stars you have in a hack edit your file warp to levels and more go to the github page linked in the description scroll down to how to use and click star display in the blue text and it should download windows thinks it's a virus because they don't know the publisher but this program is a hundred percent safe Open up Star Display, load your ROM, and then it will load a layout. If it doesn't load the correct layout, right-click on the program, go to Layout, and then go Load From. This will show a massive list of layouts, so scroll down, and then when you see the layout with the same name as the hack you're playing, click it and it will sync. What can you do with this program? Well, right-click and there are loads of options. Let's firstly talk about the game edits. Right-click on the program, go to game edits, and then you can see the options. Edit file allows you to add in any stars you have, which is definitely recommended for recovering lost data from beforehand. And if you want to recover multiple stars, click to the left of the stars and everything will become recovered. Edit flags lets you add in keys, switches, etc. Just check the boxes of the things you want to be added. You can also warp to certain courses by clicking warp to level. If you would like to track the time of how long you have been playing something, or if you want to do some speed running with loads of splits, download Live Split. Go to livesplit.org slash download, and then download Live Split, extract it to a folder, and open the program. As you can see, there is a mini black timer. Firstly, configure your hotkeys by right clicking on Live Split, going to settings and then choosing hotkeys of your choice for your splits enable global hotkeys so you don't always have to click on live split to use the hotkeys if you go right click and then go to edit splits you can edit the game title game category split names and attempt count here are a few examples of some splits i made you can do lots with this software a video based on this program has been linked in the description but yeah guys, that was the tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And since this was the first tutorial I put genuine effort into, feedback would be really appreciated. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if this helped you. And if you need help, I will try my hardest to answer your question as soon as possible. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.